Hello and welcome to SDF Spiel Fleming and Fellowship here on YouTube. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my review of the Iron Hill Dwarfs with Mattox. So as always uh, I try to re improve my videos and in the last couple of episodes I have uh, mounted my camera on a tripod and gotten really really close to the models I do reviews on so you can appreciate all the nice detail and work that has gone into that model so you can get a better um, yeah, better approach of, of the model itself before you do your purchase. So I do think you would enjoy this and uh, do give feedback if you have any. Uh, as always, we are trying to improve. But uh, without further ado, let's uh, get straight into the action. So welcome back to this review of the Arnold Dwarfs with Mattox. So you can see here the blister. I've just uh, opened it so ever so slightly with my hobby knife. And let's just get all the components out into the open. The blister itself, nothing fancy, no assembly manual in it. You can see uh, lovely miniatures in the front with their mattox. Three nice poses. So let's have a look at the actual miniatures themselves. So you get in this box, you get three mattox, of course three bases, and you get three foot models. So one of them has no peg. Maybe it fell off during uh, during uh, its uh, insertion into the uh, the blister pack itself. So can we get a zoom on? Yeah, we can. So the model itself is very well sculpted. Uh, it is done digitally, of course. Um, I don't think you could achieve such crisp detail without having it digitally sculpted. Uh, has a sword in its back. Uh, of course, its main primary weapon is the mattox um, seen in the front uh, or in the back there. And the hair, the scabbard, the belt buckles in his boots. Everything is very well sculpted. Uh, the beard is good. So, again, quality ex as expected from the Iron Hill Dwarfs. So, I do think the poses are great, and they look in in several stages of just bashing in uh, the head of an orc, or something like it. I really enjoy these poses, they would look great on the battlefield. So I, I bought 12 uh, total, so I've bought, got 4 packs of the Mattox. Um, Mattox on on foot, so of course I do have more Mattox because I have um, I have twenty four of dismount sets, so uh, twenty four models of dismount, so eight packs, and uh, I would like to have at least four Mattox from that set as well, so I can use that for for dismounts. I do think the faces are lovely, 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 and um, and yeah. Very crisp detail on this. Very crisp indeed. Assembly of these models should go together with no real hassle at all. I every time I do a review of the dwarves, I I think my dwarves my dwarf army is way down the line. My Iron Hill Dwarf Army would have to wait a long while until I can start it. But I do purchase all the models I feel I need for that army. Um, both to make a review of it, but also to uh, so I can have it ready. So once I get the chariots, once I get the captain mounted, and once I get the um, um, the crossbows, that's an army, and then I can I can just assemble them as soon as I want to. So again, as you saw on yesterday's, um, well, maybe not yesterday, but the uh, the last review we did. Of the captain and uh, banner bearer, the dwarf command set with mattox. The mattock itself has very, very fine pattern on the haft there. I really, really think this is cool. Just some small vents there, no real flash to, to talk about, no real mold lines. Again, I just feel like these models are such. Such nice models. Yeah, so 
Again, uh, the price for these has been talked about um, a bit, and £18 for three models, that's £6 each. It is a fair bit, I, I do have to agree with that, it is a fair bit, but then again, the quality you get for the sculpts, it is quality you would expect from a single hero. So, keep in mind that the price the heroes above the warriors and everything like that, I really don't care. This quality of a miniature is a quality you would find in, in heroes. And every single model is sculpted with such care and the, the uh, casting, such quality. Uh, and of course customer service from Forge World is so great. Uh, so if you do find fault with your models, just get in touch with them and they will send you brand new ones in, in no time at all. So I, I feel like they're worth it, um, but I, I won't get 24 of these, I, I will, will keep my 12. Um, that should be enough for me uh, for the moment. I think my, my fun of me would be 24 with spares, uh, 12 with mattocks and 12 crossbows. I do feel that is enough for me, but again, I, I will have 3 chariots and 24 go rides so, and 24 dismounts. So. Never mind that, my army will be 150 dwarfs, or something like it, at least at least 120. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, I do recommend them, lovely, lovely models, and uh, yeah, so that's it for this review, I hope you enjoy that, and if you do enjoy our videos, please check out our Patreon in the link below. Uh, it is a way to support us and uh, also to support our long-term goal to get ourselves a nice YouTube studio to film in as well as do battle reports, um, have live blogs, um, all the stuff you expect from us and uh, and uh, the goal is not way too off, uh, we don't need like immense amount of funds to do that so if you only have a dollar to spare uh, a month that will go long way towards our goal. So do check that out and lastly nothing more to say uh, than <laughs> Well, wow. uh, comment, like, share, and subscribe, and support your hobby.